Let's go boys, it's Ravelry Week. I'm vlogging this game experience. Alright boys, it is 47 degrees. We say it feels like 60 outside, so that's good. Perfect football weather. Um, so I'm gonna head over to University Heights, Ohio, and uh, you guys will get to see the campus as me and my friend walk around it. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Bye, beautiful. We are on campus, boys, here at John Carroll, my boy, the co host of the Best Mike podcast, right there. We're here, boys. We at campus uh so me and chris we're gonna walk around see the tailgating see the campus and then we'll probably get our seats for the game so got anything to say chris made it to university heights we did yeah. we just broke into a building i don't know where we're at we're in john carroll's like bell tower and there's a bunch of like offices but we're looking for a restroom and we just can't find nothing so wish us luck guys restroom look at this privacy look at this eighty thousand dollar privacy we love john carroll man $80,000 privacy. Yeah. So now we're going up to the highest point because like in this bell tower, I want to see how high we can go up. Turns out you only go to the third floor. There's a fourth floor on the elevator, but I think you need a key. Maybe like a janitor, get like, you know, like the right personnel. That's a tailgate over there. Really, uh, really growing. So Chris, what's your, what, what's your score guess for the game? What, what's your prediction of this game? Uh, against common opponents, I mean, Mount Union's averaging like 50 points a game, and uh, John Carroll's not. I think it's more, what, like 30? They're averaging about 30 points a game. Something like <clears> that, <throat> yeah. They're still dominating, but they're not dominating like we are dominating, you know? Yeah, I, I think it'll be close for a half. At the half, it'll probably be like, Mount will be up probably 20 to 17, and I think Mount pours it on in the second half. I, th I think it's 40 to mm. 17. I think, honestly, what needs to happen is if John Curran wants to beat us, they got to beat us in the past game because that's yeah. kind of a weakness right now. And also, we got to take advantage of this weather because it's starting to rain. So yeah. I think Mount wins 40 to 17. For sure. So where no, are we at? I, I'm not going to be able to find this. Go on, Chris. I believe in you. We are here. Are we? That is the book center. That is the book center. And we are looking for the rec center. Are we? Yes. Okay. <sighs> Blow. So pencil. Ooh. You guys don't have any like purple. No purple. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the stadium, boys. How you feel, Chris? Worst stadium I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I agree. What? What's even a blue streak? I don't know. My goodness, boys, look at that. Look at that. Welcome to John Carroll. What a blue streak. We are currently underneath the stadium. There's some stuff going on in the back here, so we're checking it out. How do you feel, Chris? It stinks. It stinks nice and good. Oh, look at that, boys. Worst stadium I've ever seen. I honestly agree. Ours is way better, so. We're gonna look around some more at the stadium. I'm gonna get some food at the stands and we're gonna get our seats and get ready for the game. So about an hour out of the game though. Boys are back. Boys are back. <laughs> this guy's a nice guy. Only at John Carroll they evacuate the press box due to, I don't know what, what do you think it is? I don't know, I don't see a fire, I don't see like, clouds of smoke, I don't know what it is. Maybe, it, I mean, I see a box of pizza up there, maybe the guy burnt the pizza. Yeah. What's even a blue streak, man? What's even a blue streak? Please 
How are you feeling, Chris? Excited. I'm ready to run through a brick wall. Here we go. Heck yeah, man. Let's get it. So how do you feel? Second half, we're up 28-7. How do you feel? Um, it definitely didn't go the way I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like 20 to 17, like I said before. But I mean, we'll take it. Um, I think Mount Union just. I think they just keep pouring. Them. Yeah. Rivalry game. You don't pull the stars in that game. I think they drop 70. Oh, me too. But honestly, John Carroll only has a chance if they get their passing game going and if they fix some stuff up on their defense and also offensive schemes. Like they just need to change something. They got the ball first in the second half. So, it's safe to say, I mean, if, if they don't score on this drive, it's over. It's over, because they got ball first. Game's over. Final score 49 to 14. Kind of a, it was competitive, but like just John Carroll couldn't do anything. They couldn't really do anything on offense, but it was competitive. Number 12, John Carroll falls to number two, Mount Union. So I think we're going to get an automatic bid in the playoffs. Chris, what do you think? Um, it kind of went how we expected it. Uh, less points by Mount Union, but also less points by John Carroll. But overall, it was, it was a pretty competitive game in the first half. Second half, I had Mount Union kind of just pulled it on. Like, I mean, last year, like, they almost came back and won it. Uh, this year, they just kind of, like, their quarterback went down. It was just downhill from there. Uh, that one, number eight, that quarterback for them, their back quarterback, he just didn't have the greatest arm. Uh, it was over after the quarterback went down. So, all right, well, I'll catch y'all, boys. All right, guys, we got back to the dorm. I'm tired. We got that today. We were OAC champs. Six more games, one more regular season game, and five more games. To go to the Stag Bowl. It's ring season, boys. Um, you guys want more vlogs? Leave a like. Leave a comment. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.